coding. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your next C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. And I know you haven't heard my voice in, for this tutorial series in a while, but sorry, uh, I intend to finish this off. Now, it, this tutorial series could span within for, for another like three to five videos, maybe five to ten. Not sure, but there's not much more that I'm gonna teach. Now there, there's there's a lot that you guys probably want to implement, such as like split screen, uh, picking up power ups, all that stuff. But I believe that what I've taught you so far, you should be able to implement that by yourselves, right? And to make a entire series on everything that everybody wants to add would just be entirely too long. And I want to get into the RPG tutorial series and what the RPG tutorial series will be uh, incorporating more stuff so you could even implement um, some stuff from there into your platform game. But we will be covering in this tutorial some screen scrolling and the next tutorial we'll uh, handle some bullets so shooting some enemies and, and then we'll see where we go from there. So we want, what we want to do is create a camera class and we want to add in the XNA framework. Now we're going to make this class uh, a singleton class. Now if you're planning to do split screen and stuff, then a singleton class might not be the best. You'd probably just want to make it a regular class. But since we're only just doing for one player right now, uh, then a singleton class is fine for us. So we'll just make this a static camera instance and then we'll make a property for it. And we'll make a get and we'll say if instance equals to null instance equal to new camera return instance. Okay. So another thing we're gonna have to add in is a position. And we're going to have to add in a view matrix. Now, if you have watched my screen scrolling tutorials, it's almost going to be the same as that, just with uh, a few minor differences. If you don't know about, about what this view matrix does, then watch my screen scrolling tutorial. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a method called set focal point, and we'll take in a position. Uh, focal position or whatever and we'll leave it like so so we're gonna say that our position is equal to new vector 2 focal position dot x subtract screen manager dot instant dot dimensions dot x divided by 2 and then we're going to say focal position dot y subtract instance dot dimensions dot y divided by 2 so what that's going to do is get our position, subtract the halfway point of the screen. So we're going to say that if our position dot x is less than zero, then we'll set it to zero and not else if, but if position y is less than zero, then we set position y to zero. So that means that if we are not past the halfway point on the screen, do not implement any scrolling at all. But if we are past the halfway point on the screen, it, whether it's horizontally or vertically then we implement some scrolling so that's all we're going to do for that and we're going to make another function called update and in this is going to just have one thing in here it's going to say view matrix is equal to matrix dot create translation be a new vector three subtract the position and that's it now why do i not set it the the view matrix in there i could do it but I kind of wanted to separate it because I wanted to set a method so uh, you we could set a focus point whether in any of the classes but the update would, re would remain the same in the screen manager class. Now you can you can put this in this uh, this method right here. It won't affect the production in the code. It will run exactly the same. No changes but I just felt like separating it. It's really up to you whatever you guys want to do. Right? It's your personal code. So, to implement this, we're going to go to our player class, and in the update section, after everything, we're just going to say camera.instance.setFocalPoint. Now, we're going to set the focal point as our position.x and the halfway point on the screen vertically. The reason being is that we're not going to be doing any scrolling vertically, so therefore, we just have to set it at the halfway point vertically. 
okay and then whenever we move past the halfway point horizontally then we apply screen scrolling horizontally okay so uh once we've got that set now we just have to go to our screen manager dots yes now the update all i have to do is say camera instance dot update and that's fine and if we go to our game one dot cs in our sprite batch draw sorry oh i didn't even make uh I didn't even make a get for the matrix. So what we have to do is go back to our camera class, make a property, call it view matrix. Uh, we'll just make a getter for it because we don't need get accessor for it because we don't really need to set a value for it. So say view matrix is equal, I mean, sorry, return view matrix. And that's fine. So just go right here. Put capital V for view ma matrix and we put down here so you guys can see it and voila so we we've got that set up so now when we run our program and we walk so let me put this in right here so as you can see we are applying screen scrolling now in your game you are not going to want to go past the maps width and and the maps and the map's height now uh i would show you this but i kind of want to give you guys a challenge so what i'm going to let you guys do is to try and figure out how to implement it so it doesn't go past the uh, the map's dimensions now if you guys really can't figure it out then i will put it in a in a next video just let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a video on it but i believe it's it's pretty easy to implement and it'll be a good challenge to kind of work your brains a little bit rather than just copying code from the tutorial so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it uh oh my bad uh don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe don't forget to sign up on my website in case you need assistance and and bye for now